The fish who almost ate Guam in half. One day, the fishermen started to notice that the bays on each side of Guam were getting bigger and the land between was getting narrow. The people of Guam started to think that a giant fish was the cause of the problem. They thought that the fish would come out of its hiding when no one was looking and it would eat the land on either side of Guam. The fishermen would journey on their boats to find the giant fish, but they would always fail. They felt helpless and that finding the giant fish was simply impossible. Back then, the young maidens of Guam would wash their hair with oranges and lemon at Agania Springs, and they would let the orange and lemon peels float on the bay. So one day, one of the maidens noticed that the orange and lemon peels were floating in a different direction than usual. They were floating on the opposite side of the island. The young maidens concluded that the giant fish must have made a tunnel beneath the island which was the reason why the orange and lemon peels were floating in that direction. It must be the giant fish's home, the young maidens thought. So the young maidens gathered together to come up with a plan. They made a special net to capture the giant fish by weaving all of their hair together. The young maidens thought that if they used regular fish nets, which the fishermen use, the fish would recognize it and hide from it. Once they have made their net, they went down to the spring and began to sing to get the fish's attention. Curious about the pleasant sound, the giant fish came out of its hiding place. At once, the young maidens jumped and threw their hair into the giant fish, successfully trapping it. They have finally captured the giant fish that planned to eat the island, and Guam was saved from further destruction. And that is why our island of Guam today is narrow at the center. <laughs>